right, this is lecture number seven on differential equations and it's on method for solving undetermined coefficients. Now this basically means it's like the last lecture uh, where you solve an equation, a second order differential equation that equals zero, but in this case it does not equal zero. And we're going to go about how to solve them. There we go. Right, now this, only, this method only works if the thing at the end, uh, the independent variable, is a polynomial, an exponential, sine or cosine, a sum or a product. So anything like this, we're happy to solve. Uh, well, as long as it isn't this all together, but we, we can solve it. Uh, so x to the 5 plus x squared, e to the 4x minus cosine, 4x plus 1 minus x e to the 2x sine x, we can do that. But we can't do anything like this, which is a division, and it's a tan. We don't like tans, we can't do them. Uh, so x over e to the x plus 1 plus tan x, we can't do that. Right, now the method uh, is to first of all guess a solution. I hate guessing, but that's the, that's the, the method. So we guess something that is close to that of Rx. Say Rx was sine x. We could guess alpha sine x as our solution. And next, if that doesn't work, if you end up with something that, if you get like 0 equals 0, if you end up with something like that, then choose a different one. So all you do is use the same one that you chose. So we use alpha sine x, and we times that by x. So alpha x sine x we could use. And then you solve it homogeneously, which is just the same way that we did it uh, last lecture. Uh, and what that was called? What was that called? Oh, uh, with, with exponentials, we just solve it like that. But we just equal zero, and we just ignore the independent variable at the end. Right now, here's our example. We have y double prime minus 5y prime plus 6y equals x. Now, if it was 0, we'd be fine. We'd change them for lambdas. We'd do all sorts of stuff, and we'd end up with a nice general solution. Because it's got an x. So what we could guess, we could guess alpha plus a plus bx, couldn't we? So that, and then we let's have that. So we guess y equals a, ax plus b, same thing. So then we'd have a differentiate to get y prime, y prime, which is a, differentiate again to get y double prime, which is zero. And then we put these into here. So we put these into here, and I've just simplified it a bit. So we would get minus 5a plus 6ax plus 6b equals x. Now what we do here, we, we collect like terms. So we put all the x's together, so we've got 6ax. Then we put this stuff, which is just a, a variable. Yeah. So we have 6b minus 5a. And then we can just equate it. So we have, let me, I think I'll put that up. There we go. So then we just equate it. So we have the 6ax equals the x, uh, which gives, uh, we move the move the x over and that becomes a 1, so we move the 6 over it becomes a equals a 6. And then we've got this part which equals 0 because there isn't any uh, constants over here. And that will give us b equals 5 over 36. Now we've done that part, now what we want to do, because uh, we've got our values for a and b which we can put up into here, we want to solve it homogeneously. So that's just basically putting the lambda. So we have lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 6 equals 0. We just ignore this. And that's pretty straightforward. So we can just uh, simply factorise it. That should be a squared there. That should be a squared. Ignore that. Uh, lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 2. And lambda is 2 and 3. So no <coughs> now we can get our general equation, which is adding both of them. So if you remember here, we've got uh, y equals a e to the 2x plus b e to the 3x. So we add both our things together. 
So this one which we get here, and this one up here which we have here. So we have y, the general solution is y equals a 6x plus 5 over 36 plus a e to the 2x plus b e to the 3x, and that is our solution. We have another example, we have another example as well. This is the same equation, but it's equal to e to the 2x. So we could get something like alpha e to the 2x, uh, e to the 2x. I couldn't find alpha on the keyboard. <laughs> so we have, we differentiate it and get y prime equals 2a e to the 2x. And then we uh, differentiate it again to get y double prime is 4a e to the 2x. Then we substitute these into here. Which uh, will give us 4a e to the 2x minus 10a e to the 2x plus 6a e to the 2x equals e to the 2x. We can cancel the e to the 2x's, they cancel out. Then we're left with 4a minus 10a plus 6a equals 1 because e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x is 1 over here. Uh, so then we can move the a's over to give us 4 minus 10 plus 6 equals 1 over a, and 4 minus 10 plus 6 is 0. So we have 0 equals 1 over a, and what use is that? Because we move the a up and we get, what, we get 1 equals 0, which we, is just no use at all. So we want to try something different, and like I said, we multiply our first guess by x. So y equals ax plus e to the 2x. Now we've got a, we need to use the uh, product rule here, because we have two terms of x multiplying, so when we differentiate, we will use the product rule and we get a times 2x plus 1 e to the 2x and we get y double prime is a 4x plus 4 e to the 2x. So if you can't remember the product rule it's uh, v over v du dx plus u dv dx and you can remember that like it says uh, u divvy at the end. Um, we substitute these into here and it's going to be quite a long one. Yep. And once again, we can cancel the e to the two x's. And we'll see one over there. We can multiply it out. Let's see if I've multiplied it out. Multiply it out. And we get one equals minus a because uh, four, ten, six, minus ten. They cancel out to be zero. Four a minus five a is minus a. So one equals minus a, a is minus one. So we have our first general solution as y equals minus e to the 2x. And because this is the same, serving it homogeneously, it's just the same. We'll get lambda equals 2 and 3. 2 and 3. So our general solution is y equals minus x e to the 2x, which is from here. And you've got a is minus 1 plus a e to the 2x plus b e to the 3x. Now you can simplify this a bit more and change this here so it could be a minus x e to the 2x plus b e to the 3x if you wanted. But that's, that's it.